Yo, what is everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, I decided to do a quick little upload, a quick discussion if you will, because Adidas just posted this on TikTok. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. Now, just before I sound off on this masterfully conjured troll by Adidas, I did want to encourage you to like today's video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be trying a few different styles of videos in the coming weeks, and your engagement will definitely be a great indicator on whether or not to keep this style of content coming. So go ahead and sound off in the comment section down below as well. Anyways, moving on. This TikTok shared by Adidas feels like yet again another escalation of a seemingly intense feud between legendary artist and businessman Kanye West and Adidas. And just a quick little recap of what's transpired. Adidas released the Adilet slides on the 22nd of June and they sold out pretty quickly. Now I know they're relatively affordable and I bet they're very comfortable, but I think it goes without question that this pair of slides biggest appeal is the stark resemblance to that of the Yeezy slides, which often resell for well over $200. I feel like the public quickly saw these as a viable cheaper alternative that are a knockoff or a rep as they do come from Adidas after all, and these essentially blew up in popularity because of that. However, someone else did take note of the resemblance and it's none other than Kanye himself as he went on to Instagram to write somewhat of a tirade bashing Adidas for what is essentially mimicking the Yeezy slide. And here's his post. This is Ye on his own Instagram. Driving down the same street Kobe passed on and maybe I feel that Mamba spirit right now to Casper I'm not standing for this blatant copying no more to all the sneaker culture to every ball player, rapper, or even if you work at the store. This is for everyone who wants to express themselves but feel like they can't. They'll lose their contract or be called crazy. Bravery is not being afraid. Bravery is overcoming your fear for your truth. This is Ye with the blue paint on my face. These shoes represent the disrespect that people in power have to the talent. The shoes a fake Yeezy made by Adidas themselves. I'm not talking to DC about this either. Casper, come talk to me. Happy Monday. So Kanye definitely made his feelings heard in that Instagram post and I think everybody was here for it. Honestly, this went viral, like mega viral all over uh, different platforms on huge pages. Everybody's talking about this when Kanye posted this. Post is now unavailable, but there's been recent leaks of what is known as the Addy Foam Q. And there's been a lot of comparisons to Yeezys yet again. So with Kanye sounding off on the Addy Lit 22 just two weeks ago, the public was marinated to respond very poorly to these recently acquired leaks. And it looks like they did. Anyways, back to how we started today's video. Let's play the TikTok one more time. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. There's a lot of people across all social media platforms that are pretty upset right now with Adidas and honestly, justifiably so. Adidas just seems to be stoking the fire of Kanye's rage. This post has already gone viral, being shared by some of the biggest accounts on multiple platforms. So bear with me as I put my tinfoil hat on just for a second. I just put on the tinfoil hat just for a second. Could this be an engineered plan to create publicity around these new releases because let's state the facts here kanye is definitely not one to shy away from controversy like ever especially if the result is publicity kanye's post lambasting adidas on the slides came just 10 days before its initial release and kanye is a very savvy businessman he's a very smart dude Surely he knew that posting about the slides would result in more awareness and more eyes on the Adilet 22 slides and he ultimately removed the post altogether. So is he as mad as he stated on that day? I'm not saying we're in the midst of a marketing campaign, but it definitely is kind of suspect how Adidas would just taunt the man who essentially resurrected Adidas to make it a formidable competitor to even Nike in the mid 2010s. 
when you consider all of this in addition to the fact that the sneaker game just isn't on solid ground right now i mean a year ago jordan 1 mids were flipping for 100 over retail now decent colorways are going below retail it's just a very interesting time in sneaker culture that we're in and it just kind of feels a bit gimmicky to me but that's just my opinion Maybe Adidas is really undercutting Ye, ripping off his designs, mocking him all the while doing so. All I know is this TikTok is absolutely hilarious and Ye is the best thing to happen to Adidas. So I definitely hope that it's not the case. Anyways, side note, these Adicues look pretty good in my humble opinion. And I may or may not just have to pick up a pair to review and style here on the channel. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you'd be into. Also, please let me know if you did enjoy today's video by liking it and commenting down below, of course, subscribing as well, because it will let me know to kind of fire off these quick news style of videos. And they're kind of fun for me to make as well. With that, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. It is a huge privilege of mine to serve you through making content. I'll never take it for granted one bit, as always, until I see you guys in the next video. Peace and be blessed.